Hey, what's going on everybody? I uh, wanted to come to you guys tonight to run through how I set up for coyote hunts and just kind of a quick run through on how I pack my gear into the woods or into the field. I try to keep it as minimal as possible. So what I've been using for quite a few years now is this Alaska Guide Creations. It's basically just a bino pack and then I've added an accessory down here at the bottom and I'll go over that here in just a little bit. But this has numerous pockets on it to allow me to not have as much in my hands whenever I'm walking to the field. And what I'll do is I'll just carry my tripod in and then my rifle will be slung over my shoulder as well as my call. So it's basically this and that right back here. I don't carry a chair in, a stool, anything like that. I like it to be as minimal as possible just because on a good night of coyote hunting, it could be anywhere from 10 stops to 25 stops on some tournaments. So I don't wanna to have to be picking up a whole bunch of different stuff, uh, grabbing it out of the truck, and then carrying that to the field on each and every stop. This stays on me in the truck, so I put it on when I leave the house and then take it back off whenever I get back home. I'll make sure and put a link to all this stuff down below in the description so you guys can take a look at it there. I've got this kind of down a little bit lower than normal right now because uh, I got it fitted for an extra coat or a jacket over the top of this sweatshirt or a vest. But I'll just go through all the pockets here and kind of what I carry. So the top, you see here, it has a couple of elastic bands. Let's see if that'll focus in here. It's got one, two different elastic bands. You can slide in about anything in there that will fit, of course, um, small flashlights, different hand calls, and then the top basically hood here. Uh, this is for daytime. Just, of course, throw my binos in there, Vortex binos. Uh, for nighttime, I'll, of course, leave those at home. Those don't do me any good at night. And then that just allows one extra pocket to throw some hand calls in, uh, put my thermal scanner in, or cell phone, Whatever it might be, it just adds some extra space there to carry some more gear if you need it. On the side here, I kind of have rigged up a little diaphragm call box. And in this, I'll carry just two or three mouth diaphragms. I'm a big fan of doing a lot of howls and pup distress with mouth uh, diaphragms. So I got those right there, easy to get to. Uh, down here in the front, in the daytime, nothing in there right now, but that would typically be a range finder. Rangefinder fits in there perfectly. And like I say at night, rangefinder won't be with me. So just extra room for extra gear if you need it. Uh, it's got two zipper pockets here on the side. On the right side is gonna be a wind checker. Use this on each and every set pretty much. You always wanna make sure and play the wind when you're hunting coyotes. And that's it on that side. Sometimes I carry spare batteries over there just depending on how long I'm gonna be out that night. On the other side is the same size zipper pocket. This one, I do have some different batteries. A couple 18650s. And here, I just have a rabbit distress call. Uh, I think there's something else in here. Uh, an extra battery for one of my cameras. Sometimes I'll throw just various camera batteries in there. Some double A's for uh, this night vision scope back here. Just water I need to throw in there. I'll move this to the front because I'll need this tonight. Won't need my range finder. And then down at the bottom of the original part of the Alaska Guide Creations Bino Pack is this small zipper. It's kind of a flat type pocket down here. On this, uh, I like to carry a scale with me. Just kind of a personal challenge for me anytime I kill a good sized coyote. I'm just curious on what it weighs and that's just handy to have. You can hang this over a tree branch or I can hang it over my uh, tripod there and then just hang the coyote by that. And then always carry my drag rag. So you just hook this by the coyote's teeth you can carry a couple at a time. And then that right there, just stick your hand through it and then you can drag the coyotes through the field. It can be hard, kind of hard to get to, so on the back side of this is just a flat pocket to where you can keep some license, um, some extra money, driver's license, whatever you want. I keep some flat knives in here just 
stuff that's not real bulky, uh, maybe some thin batteries. I think right now I have a multi-tool that's not real thick. So it's just a real flat, kind of skinny type pocket. And then down at the bottom, I have this rigged up. This I bought separately, then I just attached this with some 550 cord. And what this is, I guess it's just an accessory pocket on Amazon. Uh, but I keep my thermal hand scanner in there. Fits in there perfectly. Keeps it, you know, out of the brush. Um, pretty expensive little product here, so you want to try to keep that as well taken care of as you can. And then once I get it to my set, I'll just throw this over like this. It just hangs off here off the side. And then of course at night, I won't have these binoculars in here. So if I need to, I can just drop this right inside this pocket. The lid doesn't close all the way, but that's fine. Uh, it just keeps it out of the elements, kind of keeps it safe. And then over here on this side, uh, this is another accessory pocket uh, purchased from Alaska Guide Creations. This pocket's really nice, this case, because I can run it on this support strap. It's actually part of the original Bino pack, but I have it set up to where I attached it to the strap here, and then that just makes it a really nice place to keep the remote for my Fox Pro call uh, that's hanging back there off my tripod. And then I, it comes with this uh, uh, lanyard here, and you can adjust this however long you need to by this little black buckle here. And whenever I'm calling, I just hit a call, slide that right back in the pocket, and then I'm right back to hands-free. My guns, my rifle's gonna be standing there on the tripod, and I can just be scanning the fields with my scanner. And then of course, if I need to, I typically have some hunting pants on uh, with some cargo pockets on it. At night, I don't get real picky on wearing camo. Typically, always wear these kind of pants or my old army pants. And then up top, just sweatshirt, car, jacket, whatever it might be. And then running my 6.5 Grindle on my tripod. And then currently using the Fox Pro Fusion as my electronic call. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm a big fan of the diaphragm uh, mouth calls. So I think that pretty well hits on everything, kind of how I pack in on my coyote hunts. Uh, if you guys have any questions, make sure and comment down below. I'll try to answer those as quickly as I can, help you guys out. Uh, make sure and stay tuned, subscribe to the channel. Hopefully gonna be a lot of coyotes going down this year. And as always, happy hunting. Be safe. See you guys. Bye.